Good evening, friends. This is A.R. R.M. Arun. I am president of the Southern India Chamber of Commerce and Industry, SIKI. On behalf of SIKI, we take great pleasure in welcoming our esteemed guest for today, Dr. Mrs. Meena Muthaya. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to each one of you for joining us this evening. As some of you might be aware, SIKI has completed 110 years of service to industry, government, and society. During these years, we've conducted tremendous number of programs that have been of uh, great value to each one of our stakeholders. During each one of our programs, we have several speakers who have joined us and uh, shared their expertise with us. Typically, our speakers spend about 20, 25 minutes of their time and restrict their address to just the area of expertise. We, however, felt that our guests have much more to offer than just the area of expertise. We felt that our guests can certainly share with us their life's journey, their inputs for the next generation, and importantly, their inputs for society. We felt that this would be of great value to each one of our stakeholders. That's how we came up with the concept of SIKI 360. We are extremely glad within SIKI that we have since conducted 10 extremely successful sessions with 10 well-known speakers ever since we started this program October of last year. We are also very glad that we have with us today another esteemed guest, Dr. Mrs. Meena Muthaya, about whom I'm sure most of you would be aware, and I will also be sharing a few words before we get into our discussion. As I was saying, SIKI 360 is a new concept for us. Bhavani, can we please have the slide? Before I go over the slide that you see before you, I would like to draw your attention to the names of two of our executives who are listed in the bottom of this slide. I request you to please make note of it. And if any of you have any issues in reconnecting during the course of this call, please feel free to give our executives a call and they will be glad to assist you. SIKI 360 has been a new foray for us building on the experience of our seminars. We wanted to come up with a name that depicts a multidimensional perspective, and that's how we came up with 360. We orient this to be a lively discussion with our eminent guests, and each one of our guests are experts in their fields who share with us their all round paths to excellence. We have a stringent criteria to invite guests to our programs. We look for guests with over four decades of, of uh, contribution to the respective industry as well as for society. This is also an apolitical platform and we oriented in that manner. The format that we follow for the SIKI 360 series is we have five sessions, five sections rather, that we discuss with our guests. We start off with our guest expertise. Secondly, we talk about our guest organizational organization and their role within their organization. Third, we talk about our guest career path. Fourth, we talk about our guest inputs for the next generation. And finally, we talk about our guest inputs for society. We certainly encourage you, the audience, to participate along with us. There are two basic guidelines that we follow during this program. Number one is we want our guests to be at comfort at all points so that we are able to invite our guests back and our guests feel comfortable in, in spending time with us. And secondly, we would like you, the audience, to gain out of your, your participation in this program. So we look forward to, uh, uh, to your inputs as well as we go along. Having said that, I would now like to share a few words about Dr. Mrs. Meena Muthaya. But before that, I must say that uh, Mrs. Meena Muthaya is fondly referred to as auntie by most. And uh, I must say that uh, since my childhood, I've known her and I've also called her as auntie. So to refer to her as anything else is going to be very different for me, but I've uh, sought her permission to call her as uh, Mrs. Muthaya during this program, and uh, she has kindly accepted. This being a public forum, I necessarily have to ensure the required addressing. Mrs. Muthaya is correspondent and senior principal of Chetna Didyashram, CV as it's popularly known as, is a top ranked school in Southern India. Mrs. Muthaya has been a role model to both the staff and the students 
across the three institutions and more that she plays a role within. She has been committed to the noble cause of shaping young minds of our nation and certainly a person with diverse talents and interests. She studied at the Queen Mary's College in Chennai. She did her BA and MA in history there. She followed it up with a diploma in business management and then a doctorate on the origin and art, origin of art and development of Tanjo painting. She also has an honorary doctorate from the Peria Maniamme University. Mrs. Muteya hails from a family of philanthropists and educationists. She's the granddaughter of Raja Sir Anamle Chetia, who was the founder and pro-chancellor of Annamalai University. Mrs. Muteya is also the wife of late Dr. M.A.M. Muteya Chetia, who has been Sikhi's past president during the years 1959 to 62. Mrs. Muteya now has 15,000 students and counting studying within uh, the three institutions that are directly under her, which is the Ch Chetina Vidyashram, the Kumara Rani Meena Muteya College of Arts and Science, and the Kumara Rani Meena Muteya Matriculation High Secondary School. She has also trained in Tanjo art, and she nurtures this passion and ensures that this painting is kept thriving through the Kumara Raja Muteya School of Arts and Crafts, which trains budding enthusiasts. In fact, I'm very glad that uh, my daughter Vilasini has also spent some time with uh, this school and has done two very beautiful paintings within this field. Mrs. Muteya has also started the Kumara Raja Muteya Muttamil Mandram. This is to promote Tamil art and culture. Mrs. Muteya has been the recipient of several awards. The Paramacharya Award, the Lifetime Achievement Award by Rotary, the Best Educationist Award, Top 3 Women of Chennai Award by Saki Mandal Sayo, 2009, the Tamilese Seva Ratna Award in 2011, Honorable Citizen of the Year Award in August 2012 by Hamsa Dwani. Lifetime Achievement Award by Raindrops in March 2015. Lifetime Achievement Award by Women Nation in 2017. Recipient of the Living Craft Treasure Award for 2016-17. Distinguished Woman of Madras during the Madras Week celebrations held during August of 2018. Certainly a, a, an exhaustive list of awards. With those few words, I would now like to again welcome our esteemed guest for today, Dr. Mrs. Meena Muteya. Mrs. Muteya, welcome. Wishing you a very good evening. Mrs. Muteya, could you hear us? Thank you very much for joining us this evening. If, if we can begin the discussion about your expertise, can we ask you what convinced you to establish these educational institutions? And in that context, what would you say have been your success habits? And now we were coming from Chidambaram, Mrs. YGP and myself after Dante Angeli. She is a very good friend of mine. So I asked, uh, I said, Rashmi, I would like to start a school. She said, why not? I said, but you have started, uh, what is uh, Padmasi Chadri Balabhavan so many years ago. How can I start? She said, keep quiet. You have three two, Dr. Reddy and Sucha Reddy's daughter. Uh, she was in and out of our house here, Tetland House and Doctor's House. So she said, she has grown up. She has got married from here. So what stopping you from starting a school? So with four students inside my hall, they will hear me and think me Nanti Saundarya and Aishwarya, Rajikant's two children, because Rajikant and Rajmi and all are very good friends. And two other children, one is in New York now with her children. 
uh, with four children, I started the school inside my hall. And slowly, one by one, started coming. And to today, I have three of my schools, Raja School, Ranyama School, and in Chetinad, we have the hospital. So all these children are my own children. So I uh, tell God when I'm sitting alone, God, I ask you only for one child. And you've given me thousands of children. So I'm very happy that I started the schools because you know nothing like education. I was in Burma with my parents when I was a little girl. And while, while coming from Burma, many walked from Burma to Calcutta and out. But daddy came in the last year. So daddy and mommy, the chitras there said, you know Rajasanamli Chitya, he came there for Pilea Nobu, is the only Nobu that we Chityas have. In Rangoon to our house, that's his own daughter's house, to give us a delayed to with the I'll never forget grandfather. I was a little girl. So daddy said, no leaving here in Burma. I'm, I went to school in Burma to the convent. After that, I visited Burma once more. So daddy, they came to Madras and straight away from Chetnar house, we went to school. And the war started in 1944. The whole lot of us, grandfather, we went to Chetnar, the boy star joined Pallatur Boys School and we started the school in Puthote, Rani Girls High School. So that is how I came into Edu. Uh, but you know, I've always wanted to study, but I was a boarder as a child. I was young and in the boarding house, so I did not have the opportunity to learn music or uh, be in uh, or anything because St. Sir, Sir Thomas Convent are hostile. Did. But one thing they taught us, discipline. I'll never forget the discipline the nuns taught us, in, which is now stood me in very good. Uh, I keep telling children, listen, at your age, I was only in the boarding house. So, you know, to me, children's education, they must study, listen to parents, the daddy and mommy, all of them. Today, of course, with all your electronics and your, you've all studied much more than any one of us. But respect for elders is always there. So it doesn't matter what you study, respect. Nothing like that is parents, grandparents, we learn so much from them. And holidays, we were all in Chetinad, all the cousins were there. It was a great time those days. And then, of course, I was only 14. Today, to think of any child getting married at the age of 14, but they said, Grandma not well, grandfather not well. So at the age of 14, I got married and came to get that house. And here I am. I always think of the days as a youngster. How today when I, you know, the plates or the tumblers, ALCT, you know, all when the fully photo put up ALCT. I can still remember daddy in Portio house, Sadral, or Pakatala, Okana, ALCT, Porter. In Nakuna, every item had the initials. In Nakuna, they put MAM, Portio led daddy, ALCT. In the Muna, Muna. 
அவங்க தமிழ்லயே ஆனால் ஆனாச்சு So this is the Nagarata custom of, uh, of uh, affixing the initials on each one of the items that are yeah. part of the household. Every which, which item will have the initials. Every item will have the initials. One of the chinna marana kuda muna na muna ilka. Ange ALCT ara lara chira tara. I even remember daddy. Enge okta indi vargute itara saam. ஐயோடய <laughs> affectionate person yes definitely yes we got the affection which we are passing it on to our children and soft spoken yes because i don't shout or uh, nothing like that kala so it's written in you know, spoken the what tells do you what to know about me i don't how did you discover the artist in you uh, we we seen that you spent a lot of time uh, with anjo paintings uh, how did you yeah, take a liking for that and what do you see as the difference of tanjo art during yester years and now we you know i was waiting for a hindi master i didn't know a word of hindi those days and was the metric we wanted they wanted hindi as a third language so i was waiting when a gentleman at the correct appointed time with a walking stick on huge llama mount a space with a third and the lady next to him came walking into the hall at the correct time i i got a put a bus say i didn't do and i thought this man i am sure will not know one word of hindi like me so what is he coming as a hindi vadya he came sat just this side of the sofa where I, the sofa is still here and he said naan uri tanjavur obier he said i you know i heard of tanjur art and all that so immediately i went and touched because he was already 83 when he came into the house when i entered the boy i touched his feet put namaste to him and said vangaya vangaya he sat there then he immediately i asked him yeah will you try that to choli tarigala ya tanja or obiya bla he said okay and again i didn't tell this room huh? we started tanjavur but those days we didn't get the gold paper he made me make the gold paper gold foil that was a little too much for me to follow but that's how he taught me how arak is a relevant so what happened he came and told me madam ama nanga தக பேப்பர் வாங்கி தந்ததோ நீங்க உட்கார்ந்த வாதியார் சொல்ற மாதிரி என்னால் i remember going for an exhibition that lady did know who i was so she did know i had anything to do with her she is talking to another lady you know i am doing tanjavur art and putting chocolate paper gold paper so i just smiled to myself looked up because she didn't know who i was and today all i use it 
Tanjavurat. It is really come. Then I went to Tanjo to see how they are doing it. And uh, most schools have got Tanjavurat now as one of them. You know, we have special studies. So, Chetar Vidyashram and all, we have Tanjavurat students. And of course, I run my school. I have students who stay with me and in the hostel. They are. I keep only girls come and learn, but hostel only boys. I know them. Girls. So, when I go to Bombay daily, I found somebody coming and touching my feet. So, I just looked up and said, She said, Auntie, I'm in Oskos village. I'm running my school, Tanjo Rat. So I said, God bless you, my child. Teach as many people as you can. This was Oskos village, is a daily, is it? I don't know where it is. I think. So they are running. Tanjo Rat is certainly a, a wonderful area. It is. It has been with us for uh, centuries together, and unfortunately, it's been slowly dying away. So your efforts to promote Tanjo art is certainly significant. What do you feel we should be doing more to promote and sustain Tamil art in the current era? Tamil art consists of music, dance, art, everything. But uh, being in the boarding house, we did not have a chance for music and dance and all that. I was a boarder and only British dance those days. So now Tamil is a Sangam is a main. It is next to Siki. Siki is next next building, I think. I'm not very sure. Yes, you're but right. Tamil, yes. Correct? Ah, correct. So Tamil is a Sangam. It was first started in PSI school. Rajayana started it there and then slowly they started building Anamleman and it was over. And I remember inaugurated of Anamleman trip. And Mrs. Mutri, we now move right. on to the second uh, we are now move on to the second section of today's program. But before that, I would like to share with you that uh, we have 345 people logged in today to hear you. Uh, that's uh, mm -hmm. certainly exciting. And we are also very glad to have our president emeritus, Dr. A.C. Muthaya with us. We also have a guest from Australia, Dr. Prasad Shetty joining us as well. We are very, we are, we are very glad that uh, we could have these significant personalities join us for today. Moving on to the Thank second you. section, which is on organization and role. Uh, Mrs. Butea, several of your students have received state and national awards for a number of years. How do you identify and nurture talent within your schools? And we can definitely find out who is interested in what. We encourage them a lot. Whatever they want, whether it is science or art, everything, we encourage their books, sports. Very good in sports. And uh, now I see Olympics. Um, uh, not that I watch TV much, but Olympics, how oh, she was, you know, it is the encouragement of the teachers, students, uh, parents first. That parents encouraging them at home and teachers in school. So, so I. Uh, and you know, Tamil year, every year we have our annual day, and that the play was very good. So one day I just said, Why don't you put it for everyone? Why only for the annual day? And now it has come to stay. We have our Tamil Mukkamal Mandra. And uh, of course, for two years now we have not had. Today's paper states it's two years since we had school also. One year, definitely no. The other because of the virus and all that doesn't children are better off with their parents at home. 
because everything is online right now. Uh, there correction in there. Uh, so I said, when we were in school, we didn't know what online means. So one day I said, I'll sit down and talk to them. Uh, talk to them. Uh, so sometimes the little ones come and say, me nanti, what do you know? I tell them definitely, I don't know, Kanna. You people are so well versed in everything. But Nina is here happily seeing you all. So it's nice to see children. And I really enjoy myself, you know, spend time with them, talk to them. Nothing at home also, I wish parents. But all are busy. Both parents work now. That is how they can run the family also. So, you have been promoting children keenly for community services. What changes have you seen in these children post them participating in community activities? We learned community service when we were in school. And now we have taught old age who will be taken to children um, on our way to blood donation uh, of the scraps we take. Every year I've been to the orphanage also. So old age they they do a lot of service. That is so you know we are thankful to the Lord for having given us something which we in return give it to society. So the children and they come back to me once in a while because many are married and they've left Madras, gone to other cities, gone abroad. Wherever they are, I say, do service Kanna. So they do a lot. So I'm very happy about it, old age home. When on our way to Mahabalipuram and boy, we have old age home. When we go there, Amma, Engle Nalla Pathakranka Pate, he'll say. So what more do we want? So that's it. Mrs. Smutia, our next uh, question is from our executive committee member, Mr. S.M. Shankar, who's uh, chair of our food and nutrition committee. Mr. Shankar, can I request you to please go ahead? Good evening, madam. We're really happy to meet you here in this one August occasion. So actually, what are the qualities do you look for in your school teachers? And how do you feel parents and teachers can play a better role in shaping young minds? Definitely, definitely. Huh? Teachers, I keep telling them, Kana, all of you, they are children to us. No. They must not, as a rule in my school, you cannot have a ruler in your hand. Well, uh, you can't, even your own desk, you no know, beating the ruler at the, uh, teaching them. And no sitting down and teaching. You have to stand up and teach because then you can see to the last uh, bench. So no sitting and teaching, no using the scale. Up. And you know, one long ago, if I remember that, uh, I used to go every day for the assembly. Now I don't, with my age, I don't go. Uh, when they were having the general assembly, I saw one teacher pinch a child, I don't know for what. Something the my child must have done. And I just kept quiet. I know which section where children are standing. So I went back to Jetland. After that, I went to my principal's room in Jetland with the Ashram. Just put her pay in her envelope and called the teacher and said, thank you so much for all that you've done. So I think you better go and find another job somewhere. This is long ago. I may not have done it today. So I saw something, I don't know for what. 
a little chill. So babies uh, assembly, we have it here at home. Then from three to four, we have it in Jetland with the ice cream. And five onwards up to the 12th, we have it in the main ground. So assembly was one of the things where we could tell them everything. But now it is nearly two years since we've had general assembly. So I know parents, of course, play the most important part. I missed out because I was a boarder. My parents were in Chetinad and we were all here. But as a child in Burma, I had a mummy there. And then I came here and Raja Sarnamle Chitya, Raja Samudya Chitya, and my auntie, father in law, Mrs. Raja's wife. It was she who entered. I was only 14 when I entered the house. So she allowed me to study, take my degree, and uh, she. Only thing is, nine o'clock in the evening night, I must have my dinner. That's a rule she gave. And early morning, six o'clock, to have coffee, you have to come down to the kitchen to have coffee. Those were the two. And we followed it very well. Nine o'clock, we'll have dinner with her. And then after everybody goes to sleep, to study at two o'clock, I keep the alarm, get up, two to five, study, I'm about and come down to have my coffee. Those were the rules that she uh, insisted and we followed it. And I think we are all better off for all the, those things because she had not even got to second class, but she was a very good mother. I, even today, every day I pray. You were not a mother, more than a mother to me. So I keep telling to uncle, your mother was more a mother to me than a mother-in-law. So those were the things that we learned from the elders. Food, of course, was very important because we couldn't leave anything on the leaf which was served to us. And my first cousin is PMAL, Raja's first grandson. Once a van comes, if you don't get into the van, all of us were here cousins, the main house. He leave us and go. So what we used to, one or two of us, we couldn't finish. We'll take the leaf, keep the idli underneath. The leaf was empty and we'll get into the van. But we were given places in the main house to sit. So the person, Vellaya, even in Raja's book, Chidambaram, he is calling him Vellaya. So he was a person who looked up. When he takes up the leaf, he'll see the idli underneath. Evening when we come, water. I'll never forget the pinches he gave. Idli a tarela vachitipori ani. So when I was reading Tata's book, and he's calling out to him in Chidambaram, Malaya, he called him. So I said, Tata, I don't know if you are a little bit of 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 a little a nice bringing up studies now you children have got everything that your parents all of you all of as teachers parents auntie as an elderly person my blessings all that goes a long way for you all kada to study and can teach your children all these good habits and all that don't waste food. We cannot afford to 
wasteful method. So here I go around the school once in a week. Now while they have no wasting food, no wasting food, I'll be telling those children to bring food from home. Otherwise, they, there are lots of children who have their lunch here in our school itself. It's cooked well. Menu alone, I give them for the meat, what they want. And uh, it's me. Parents are very happy. No grumbling at all about food. Because it comes directly at the main auntie. The food part of it. Mrs. Mutia, are you supporting to support uh, Chetnaat players? For those who are not familiar with Chetnaat players, Chetnaat players is a, is a troop uh, uh, from the Chetnaat Vidyashram school, a very colorful uh, troop that uh, conducts uh, plays from the Mahabharata in particular. Uh, and uh, certainly I'm one of the many people who enjoy the dramas conducted by uh, Chetnaat players. Very, very must, say, must say that they've been doing phenomenal work. Unfortunately, as you've said, the last year we've not been able to meet in person. Two years. Guess, uh, for last year, we were not able to conduct the show. Hopefully, this year might be uh, different. But this uh, troupe has certainly so. been doing phenomenal work, whether it's the script that they follow or the sets or the costumes, and importantly, the work done by each of the students. Mrs. Mutha, mm -hmm. what has been your motivation to start this? And how do you see Chetinat players developing as, as it moves forward? I started it because of the annual day. It was good and the setting and all. Now they do everything professionally setting and all. So I enjoy. I sit there. They have it for four days, I think. All the four days I attend. And I sit there because children are due or they get the person to come. The setting, everything is done by the children. And they give ideas. And uh, it's really nice. And the hall is full. All the four days, the hall is full. It's, it's not just it's full. It's it's overflowing. The hall is overflowing on each day. <laughs> and we started the theatre club. That is from there only we started. The, from theatre club to weekend, I used to tell them because they have their studies to do. Weekend, why don't you come here and practice? And slowly, now I am missing it for so long. I'm missing that. I'm missing Anamle Mandram. Uh, Ella, one year, let us wait till the end of this December. Everything will be all right by the grace of God. And we, so to me, AC Mutha is only a child. So, <laughs> to you all, he is president of Kofiki and all. To me, he's only a child. I mean, so, some senior artist on the program, senior artist, musician. Yeah, how many of them have become senior artists from our players, music, to the Raguna? All of them are, are students. TV G.B. Prakash and his wife also, Sainthavi, both were students of mine. And so they've all come up very well. God bless them all. God bless them. Mrs. So, Mutia, do you yeah. feel women need uh, reservations and quotas to reach their career goals? And if so, do you think that an urban educated woman and a tribal woman rurally educated should have common reservations and quotas? Some be in a court. I really don't know what quota means. If you are qualified for it, they will take you. Whether it is in a rural area, we have to the court, Sanja, Trichy, uh, Madras, of course, we have all the quotas uh, and all that. So I really don't know about quotas condemned because, uh, you know, reservation, I, that is all political. Let the ministers do their job. So it's not for us. Let them do their job. As you rightfully said, when a person is qualified for it, then that's what should be the determining factor more than anything else. 
because we now move on to the third section of today's program on uh, our guest career path. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Muthaya, you you have been the first woman from Chettinad to receive a doctorate. This is certainly a great feat. Do you feel this was because of your family support or has it yes, been because yes. of your determination? No, no, family support. Without it, I could never have done it, Kanna. And of course, determination is a different, that's personal. But family support, proud. Tanima, Raja, everyone started with BA, then MA, then MBA, and uh, lastly, Tanjavur Art Doctorate, Annamalai University gave me the doctorate. And uh, Mani, Mani Maya, uh, University, one day while going to Tanjavur Mani Mayar, I stayed in Trichy. They called me and gave me a doctorate also. So it's definitely family support. Without it, we are nowhere. Kana. Individually, of course, you you know if you're very well qualified professors and all I agree. So I remember seeing Oxford lab, Britisher doing he was a Sanskrit lecturer there. Uh, when I went to England, Oxford, I saw him and I said, how nice, sir, you're doing. Uh, uh, so I don't, about reservation and all, it's political. I don't know anything about it. So It was uh, a very long time back that uh, you had identified the importance of computer literacy. And you had uh, specifically also promoted it uh, within Tamil Nadu's rural districts. Now, when we look at it, online education is the new normal. What do you think will be the impact of online education on uh, our young children? Kana, Chetinatla, I started. It's still going on, computer and the lab. Online education, I, I've been telling my teachers and people, I'll also sit down and listen because everything is online. It's a, a correction, uh, teaching, everything is online. So I said one day I'll sit down and listen to the children taking. Uh, even, uh, you know, teachers, uh, parents tell me, Minanti, they, they feel bored at home. So they prefer to come to school. Even coming to college, the professors taking classes online. So I said, one day I'll put it up and let me sit down how the teachers are teaching, how the science and arts, they, whatever <coughs> subjects they have, if it is in the college, they will join the college. So I keep saying, well, God bless them all. Raja school, Radhima school. Raja school ran matriculation, higher secondary, Chetad with the college. <coughs> but these come directly under me. <coughs> and I thank all of them. Boy. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. We'll give our guest uh, a couple of uh, minutes uh, to come back, but it's certainly been a very interesting uh, session with her. Yes, Mrs. Mutia, please go ahead. So, you know, from college, I thank Mela Maruto. Every day I thank because. They look after it very well. Now, Sapade Malamaroto. At the couple, of course, you know, morning, two hours of music, we learned so much. Malamaroto learned in either. 
മലയാള ഇതെ ഭഗവത് എന്ന് മലയാളം ഇതില്ല ആക്സെന്റില്ല ഭഗവതി അമ്മ എല്ലാമേ ടു ആസ് മ്യൂസിക് ഇൻ ദ മോർണിംഗ് ബിഫോർ ഐ ഗോ ടു വൈൽ ഹാവിംഗ് കോഫി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൺലി മ്യൂസിക് നോ ടോക്കിംഗ് നത്തിങ് അറ്റ് ഓൾ നല്ല പാടുറാങ്ക സൂപ്പറായി എല്ലാ സാമ്യവും വരുതും നമ്മൾക്ക് സോ അത് മുടിച്ചിട്ട് ഐ ഗോ ടു മൈ റൂം ദെൻ ഗെറ്റ് സാമി റൂം ആഫ്റ്റർ മൈ പ്രേയേഴ്സ് എവ്രി തിങ് ഐ കം ബാക്ക് ടു ദ ഹോൾ ഫോർ ടു ഹവേഴ്സ് ബൈ ട്വൽ തേർട്ടി ഐ ബാക്ക് ഇൻ മൈ റൂം ബാക്ക് ഇൻ മൈ റൂം ഈവനിങ് ബൈ ഫൈവ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് ഐ എം ഇൻ മൈ റൂം ഐ സോ that is how i catch up with my reading because i do have things to read write letters and i still keep writing to friends and i receive letters from them written i prefer to see their handwriting and enjoy it you know instead of talking all the time on your cell and all that i write letters whether it's in australia new zealand anywhere i have friends all over so australia dog the nun the sheila 48 years she was on st thomas mount where then she did she came to chetnad three of the i they went round chetnad all the places i showed them for a month they went round that did not stay with us now she is in sydney she is in sydney she is 93 today uh, last week was her birthday so she can't see properly or hear so i sent her a letter they at least the nieces or nephews can read it out to them or in the convent they can read it out to her so the nuns played a very big role in my life the discipline i got is only from them and you know it's so nice to uh, today i do not i don't go to the convent but the more foreign nuns i think but in in nuns are equal, very good also i remember sister ethelvina she is now she was in st philomena's hospital so when we see her she was i was a little scared we say good evening mother i don't want your good evening go go from here go from here i still remember her saying go from here but sundays we went to church went to church cathedral i still go and uh, rosary and namma tirupol devamale i say it every day these are little things because i don't go out can i don't visit anyone at my age i don't have to they'll phone me up and uh, i talk to them so i don't go out it's one year since i got into my car and the other day they said in anti we saw you acm's 80th birthday that is the time they saw me it's a, so i said yeah that i am for first like a mother to him because i i need to give so i was there at them so i don't go out at all kana it's only my hall my books my paper and telephone Mrs. Muthaya, our next question is from a graduate student. Uh, his name is uh, Thirukumaran Mahendran and uh, he's studying occupational therapy at uh, Savita College of Occupational Therapy. Thirukumaran, can I request you to please go ahead? Who told me now he's studying occupational therapy? Occupational therapy. Student, yes, sir. Yeah. No, no. Let me ask you a question. Thirukumaran, are you offline? But his parents 
or sister. Somebody told me, Kana what tell her? Ma'am, Namaste, ma'am. What is the Namaste. most memorable and exciting moment in your life? What can I? What tell her? Most memorable and exciting moment in your life. Exciting. Exciting life in your life. Exciting moment, moment in your life. I read about it. I said, every moment is, it's not exciting. It is, you take it. That's your life. So why should it be exciting? Uh, exciting means after a while it will just vanish. No, Kana. Memorable? Yes. I'm going to college, meeting uh, people and our students coming up with, uh, you know, the level. Uh, all that is very good. When you go abroad, they are all either music, musicians studying. All of them are doing something. Uh, exciting, I'm not very sure I'll be able to answer that because why should anything? It's you take it as it comes. Nothing exciting. What Wait, are you doing? Sorry, what are you doing? Go ahead. What are you doing? Oh, Anna, what are you doing? Uh, he is a student of uh, occupational therapy at uh, Savita College of Occupational Therapy. Medicine. In, medicine. medicine. I know. Uh, in, Indivanam or some place, is it? Where so, is uh, it? Uh, college. So, this is psychological. Occupational therapy. Occupational therapy. It's important because today leg pain and knee pain and all that, it's very good. Better. And let her set up her own clinic, occupational therapy, where people after a certain age, you know, it is all pains. That that's natural leg pain and mostly leg pain. Mostly leg pain can so we we'll tell her to start an occupational therapy clinic wherever. Now, we now move on to the next section. Uh, this is the fourth section of the session, which is uh, your inputs for the next generation. You've spoken a lot about discipline, uh, how uh, you gained discipline as a child and how you still follow it. When we talk about discipline, how do you feel we should inculcate this in the present generation? Because our present generation keeps shifting their focus quite often and they have a limited attention span. China, today the present generation, they, they have their own method, huh? all sorts of things. You have your mobile in your hand where the whole world is inside your mobile. And uh, you have this tab sort of a thing. And so what was your question? Discipline, how you are interpret discipline? It will automatically come. Why should they be indisciplined at all? I'm asking. So, uh, discipline will automatically, when you set a routine, uh, it will always, discipline will come, Karna. And at home, parents are there. They will watch you, in school teachers, and your own self, your own mind. Uh, you will say, let me be disciplined who don't want to be somebody who is not disciplined. So automatically discipline will come to everyone. So. When we advise our youngsters on what pro profession they should uh, take up, do you feel that we should advise them on uh, following their passion or should we, should we advise them on following a profession that's lucrative to them? Both are necessary. Today, husband and wife, if they work, the mm -hmm. family will run. And passion, uh, you know, why be forced to put take up something? Put, put the uh, whatever they want, let them do. Uh, 
we must not force them to take. Uh, I remember long ago one child while writing, uh, my daddy and mommy forced me to take this up. So I said, that must have been long ago. Now, their fashion, whatever, I'm sure they will convince the parents. I'm interested in this, so let me do it. And uh, earning is definitely important. That part of it, I agree. Husband and wife earning, children earning. Definitely, two people must earn to live a comfortable life. And while living a comfortable life, they can, you know, teach others how to. Working is very important, Rabbi. Very important. We now move on to the last section of uh, today's event, which is uh, we'd like your inputs on uh, society. We have another student with us, Miss uh, Mitra. She's a first year BCom student at uh, SIT Chennai. Mitra, uh, can I request you to please go ahead? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Kanna. I'm glad to get glad to get this opportunity to talk to you. How oh, sweet. I just have one question. Do you think women distinguish women empowerment from feminism? Women empowerment. Yeah. What is your question, Kanna? Do you think women you distinguish think? women empowerment from feminism? From, from feminism. 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 Women empowerment. Feminism, that is. Men and ladies, uh, men and women, Feminism is feminism is about trying to make sure that uh, um, uh, it's it's only the the women who are important and and not anybody else. But women empowerment, on the other hand, is about providing more opportunities to women. So the question is: are, are, women, are women able to distinguish the two, which are perhaps uh, quite different? Explain, Kanna. Please tell me again. If a uh, woman empowerment, Naka, we are talking about uh, providing a lot of opportunities for women, perhaps equal opportunities for uh, men and women. That is true. That is true. Why not? We are, we are quite capable of, of course, men can do much more, but we are also capable of doing a lot. So, women empowerment. We employ ladies, teach them. Uh, we can, you know, looking after children, all that is women that um, uh, family and all that. Father earns and brings, mother uh, and naturally looks after the family. She also goes and earns. Many, many in the, my school, husband and wife are working. So it's very good. Why not? Why not? Mrs. Mutaya, yes. you've been uh, instrumental in setting up what is known as the Kumararani Meena Mutaya Mother and Child Hospital. Uh, this was established in rural Tamil Nadu and it was established with the intent to provide quality medical facilities for rural women. How far do you feel that this institute has achieved its purpose and what do you feel are its future plans? Kana. I think I really, by God's grace, I really achieved. We were all born in Jetinad village. And I wanted to start the hospital. Then we had only clinic. Uh, we used to go every week. They come. Then, then I said, why not we start a hospital? So we started it. The building has come up. And we have 52 beds. But a lot of uh, 10 days ago, we had twins uh, visiting doctors, scan and uh, RMO and all of them. And from Pudukote, they come. And then I send them from Purumayam. 
I think we have achieved. The building is big. Building is big. We have the hostel there, and we have cooking also there. Rural. I think we really need. And so many. This morning we had two cesareans. So and that too from Karakudi. So I asked them why not they go to their own uh, hospitals in Karakudi? Why do they want to come to uh, Chetina? They feel the attention in Chetina is better. It seems. I asked a doctor this morning why doctor uh, Karakudi is Clinics Here we take good care of them. Nurses, everything is good, so they prefer to come. So I think rural area, from small clinics we have started, Nala Hospital. Somebody will know, I forgot what it is. We used to have once a week, we used to go there. That was some time ago, all that is not there now. It was called something. Uh, lots of them have started that. Apo. Now, every village we used to have, would say, will put up a clinic. I will appear lay Sundaran Jetia medical leader in a more pair. And if Chetna hospital has come up, it was mother and child. And then somebody came and asked me, why only mother and child? So then we said general hospital. Every Wednesday, we have free clinic. Doctors come, free clinic, free medicine from Apollo Pharmacy. Uh, everything is given free for them. So we have lots of people. I asked them, today is Thursday, sir. Yesterday, they told me the number. I said, well, they said, because of the virus, they are afraid to travel themselves. That's what the doctor said. I said, whoever comes, take very good care of them. And some of them, you know, that is where they take. So as they enter, they a boat for free clinic on Wednesday from. 9 to 2, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So it's doing well in Chetinat. Cartadam is very good. We have the hostel for uh, nurses. We have everything, students, hostel, everything is very good. So I hope more and more. But Karakudi is next door to the court at the other side. So Nala. Amma Urk, we have the Katadam has come up very well. And Karekudi is a big, not that I know Karekudi very well, but Nala Yaramba clinics are good again. Yaramba clinics are good. Hospitals are good. Clinics are good. Hospitals are good. Mrs. Muthaya, that uh, brings us to an end for, of today's program. Is there Thank you, Kat. you would like to add? All my blessings for all of you. That is what I would like to add. All of you do your part well. God sends you, sir. God give an opportunity to all of you. As I told you, ACM's father, when Lambretta, you, you don't have Lambretta now, we have only scooters, I don't know. When it first came from Bombay, he was standing the same house that I am living in. This hall was not there. This was all a lot. This is where M.A. stayed. Sambi was a little boy at that time. So Labretta came from Bombay. It was under the tree. So M.A. said, that is M.A. For the benefit, uh, sorry to interrupt you, Mrs. Mutia. For the benefit of our audience, I just like to know, uh, inform you that Mrs. Mutia is talking about Dr. A. C. Mutia as well as his father, Dr. M. H. Chidambaram. Because not every, just for those of you for your reference, and uh, Dr. M. H. Chidambaram had started the uh, the in uh, the first scooter factory in India, 
which is what Mrs. Mutea is expanding about. Please go ahead, Mrs. Mutea. The first Lambretta came here. It was under the tree. And A.C. Mutea's father, M.H. the brother, is my uncle, mommy's brother. He said, Meena, get up and sit on the foot of Lambretta. Wa? Lambretta. We'll take a photograph and it'll be advertisement for Lambretta. It came from Bombay, I think. So I said, Uncle, I'll definitely sit down. You take the photo. Tomorrow, your son will say, pack up and go. Advertisement. He started laughing. Today, uh, Lambretta has all, all kinds of scooters. Everything in the papers I see. So, Casey Mutea and all by young. Uh, he was only five year old when I came from Burma, and then M. E. Chidambaram was a young, you know, uncle. So he was a real jolly going man, M. E. Chidambaram. A very nice person. So. Mrs. Mutia, thank you very much for uh, joining us this evening. We certainly enjoyed uh, having you with us. Thank you, Jello. Thank and you for having whatever I could say in no language, lay in no feelings. I am not a high float uh, English person or anything. So, God bless you all. Do very well in your life. Look after your children well. Valikan, how sweet. Every day I say, Vilasani, Arun and Valis, we want Nalla sons in law. So, Arun and Vali, I remember. Meenakshi, my granddaughter, and two of them. Avangalika Nalla Mapla Varone, Avangalika Nalla Mapla. Best of luck. God bless all of you. Thambi, God bless you. AC Muthaya. Muthaya, we had a total of 364 people joining us today. That shows the amount of love that everybody has for you. Oh, sweet. God bless you, my children. God bless you all. See you as, all a, as a part of the uh, Siki 360 program, we would like to request you to autograph your photograph. We will have this uh, sent to you at the earliest. If you can kindly autograph it and also affix today's date on it, we would appreciate it so that we can make it part of our chamber's memorabilia. Sure. And also, and also as a token of our appreciation, as, as much as Siki360 is a new uh, concept, we, the, our Siki360 team has come up with a new concept of honoring our guests. There's what is known as the Sri Kanchi Kamukoti Child Trust Hospital in, in Chennai. This uh, hospital has been providing EOMAN's uh, service to uh, under, underprivileged uh, uh, children from underprivileged families. So we have taken the liberty, Mrs. Mutaya, to contribute in your name to fund the expenses of our underprivileged child, the medical expenses of our underprivileged child. And we will have this uh, certificate also sent to you at the earliest. Thank you again Tana, for... Uh, Tana, let me pay for it, Ninga. You send me your... But payment for the child, whatever the operation charges are, maybe in lakhs, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Karna. We would like to take this opportunity to uh, thank for today's session, Dr. A.C. Mutaya, our esteemed uh, 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 President Emeritus, uh, who has uh, assisted in, in scheduling today's session. We would also like to thank our event sponsor, Sri City, for having uh, partnered with us. Uh, we would like to take this opportunity to also thank the uh, Siki360 team that has been in charge of uh, the Siki360 monthly series and has put together this uh, very effective uh, program going forth. This committee is led by Mrs. Valli Arun, president of the Wellingro Group and trustee of the Tamil SI Sangam. The co-chair of this committee is Professor T. Murugavel, who is head of the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences at SVCE Chennai. Professor Murugavel is in charge of uh, doing the necessary research work on each one of our guest speakers and coming up with the effective set of discussion points that we put forth to you. 
Mr. Vinod Solomon and his, uh, who represents the Sikhi Secretariat, has been doing an excellent uh, job in, in making sure that the logistics of this event is conducted uh, uh, smoothly. Mr. Gokul Santanam, who is Senior Vice President at Emphasis, is in charge of the marketing collateral of the Sikhi 360 series. Mr. Amalan Alavandar, who is Environment Consultant at the Asian Development Bank, is in charge of the online moderation of the chat sessions and feeding the points to us for, uh, uh, for uh, addressing during the event itself. We also have Ms. Vilashni Meenakshi Arun, a student of clinical psychology, who's part of this committee and brings in the uh, student perspective. Uh, friends, we would like to share with you that uh, the next session of Siki 360, session 12, has been scheduled with another eminent guest. This time it's going to be Ambassador K. Kesavapani. He was ambassador of Singapore and is now retired. He spent a lot of time representing Singapore yes. in some of the most uh, difficult of uh, countries where Singapore had a relationship with. And in the process, Ambassador Pani also, Ambassador Pani as what he's known as, has uh, uh, had a very good working relationship with uh, President Lee Kuan Yew. Uh, he would be talking to us about that. Uh, Ambassador uh, Pani has also written several books that he will be talking to us. Currently, he is governor of the Board of Singapore International Foundation and he's also president of the Singapore India Association. This session is scheduled for Thursday, September 16th at uh, 10 a.m. IST. We, uh, we request you to please mark your calendars and uh, do join us for uh, the session as well. It is again going to be held just like today, online over WebEx. That brings us to an end of today's session, uh, friends. Thank you very much for your participation with us. We certainly look forward to your ongoing participation as well. And we would like to take this opportunity to wish each one of you safe times at all times. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wanakam. Arun, send me the bill Kana, for that operation. So you you people don't have to pay. I'll have to, I will pay. So Definitely. that part I don't know whom to ask. Now Wali Akadikra. Wali Arun Akadikra. Thank you, Chela. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you.